Hello, welcome once again to the Political Buds Show. My name is Rene Hinojosa. I am, as always, your host of the show. Today, we are going to talk about Truth Social, which is the app that was uh, started and or conceived by Donald Trump for conservatives as a Trump-approved alternative to Twitter and an app that would be free of censorship and so-called cancel culture, uh, but with an added benefit of Donald Trump, who would actively participate in the forum uh, more so than on Twitter, uh, because on Twitter, actually, he does so through a, uh, a third party. Um, but however, since its launch on February the 20th, the platform has been derided by tech critics on this side and it has a source of frustration from conservatives on the other side uh, who were uh, placed on long wait lists before they were even allowed access to the site. But very recently, the company has also suffered a shakeup that could further impact development and delays of the app altogether. From the start, the premise seemed like a very good idea uh, since Trump was consistently getting banned on Twitter uh, for repeated violations of its, terms, of its terms and conditions. Thus, he became infuriated uh, as a result of getting banned time and again. And then he became motivated enough to create a competitor app to Twitter. And so he launched Truth, um, Truth Social with only an iPhone app in mind, leaving out of the picture completely about 40% of the U.S. mobile market, that would be the Android market. The company then announced that it planned to build an Android app uh, to capture that other portion of the market uh, at some point in the near future. And, um, but, uh, that hasn't materialized as of yet. And in addition to the app's lack of functionality and the, uh, substantial number of interested users, um, that were locked out of accessing the site, the platform also arguably suffered from a severe lack of for lack of a better term, of Donald Trump. Despite Trump's participation, uh, that would be a selling point, a central selling point, actually, uh, the former president has thus far, has thus far only uh, has managed to post maybe once on its own, on his own social media app, if you can believe that. Uh, so, if, if things couldn't possibly go more, uh, more uh, grit, get any worse, actually, um, Truth Social, well, actually, I'm sorry, if things couldn't get any more worse, uh, they, certainly, they certainly have become. They certainly did. Uh, there are three top executives at Donald Trump's social media platform, uh, that um, have resigned after a month of uh, misfires and a lack of interest uh, from, uh, you know, from the former president uh, as well. And this came out from Reuters. Reuters reports that uh, Josh Adams and Billy Boozer, that's his actual name, uh, they are Truth Social's uh, chief, chiefs of technology and product development, respectively. And, and now the chief legal officer, Lori Heyer Bedner, uh, she has also resigned as well. So, like I said, Reuters reported these two individuals, Adams and Billy Boozer, and then it was learned later from another source that Lori uh, Bedner has resigned. And they left the company 
less than a year uh, after joining and just before the a critical phase uh, in the platform's uh, life kicks off, which is the app development and release. And so uh, we, we've come to realize, we've come to realize this, that Trump, he was not satisfied uh, being, with being a former casino magnet owner. He was a failed purveyor of stakes. Uh, he wasn't satisfied with creating a learning institution uh, that scammed its students. And then Trump University, I'm sorry, let me, let me do back, let me do this again. So what does this tell us? Uh, this tell us that Trump made a foray into big tech, right? But before that, he, uh, he was not being satisfied being a former uh, casino magnet. He, w- he was a failed purveyor of stakes, uh, a learning institution that s- scammed its students. That was Trump University. And now rapidly on his way to adding uh, tech bigwig to his list of failures. And the true social app was a way for Trump in his own in his own world, in his own words, to take on quote unquote big tech because he operates most of the time in some type of revenge mode. Uh, he and his allies argued that it would that uh, true social would rival um, social media platforms like Twitter, and Facebook. And, uh, but Truth Social has thus far failed to gain uh, the, any sort of traction uh, among, its, uh, among its users. And it has also failed to gain any sort of popularity as well. So the app has seen a 93% drop in signups or new accounts uh, since its launch. And installs have declined by some hundred, some 800,000 uh, students, I mean users, actually. And then we have to add to add that it, it has de- suffered declines in shares of about 30%. So whether Trump or his fans realize it or not, Everything Trump touches uh, seems to turn to failure, much like his presidency and subsequent decline of America's standing with the European community as it is as it's as it is now. If you have any comments about this particular um, topic please feel free to post them down there. I honestly think that the death spiral of true social has just began because these individuals that left, and we're talking about three principal individuals high up uh, in this platform and this company, uh, they're go- it's going to be very difficult to replace them because uh, the organization, the Trump organization, has made every conceivable effort to uh, hire individuals that have like-minded, like-minded conservative views. And so these individuals that left, they were hired because they met that criteria of being conservative. These individuals hated cancel culture. And so they very much wanted to be a part of, of this new uh, uh, media website. And, but the pressure is mounting uh, because things have not rolled out as smoothly as they forecasted. And uh, Kevin Nunes, who is in charge of all of this, 
Apparently, a lot of this will probably fall on his shoulders as well. So I predict that maybe he may be forced out or or possibly he may make his own exit in due time uh, because this hasn't this uh, situation with true social hasn't been fixed. There are so many uh, things that have gone wrong from signups as we mentioned uh, to the platform not being accessible because uh, they may have servo server issues as well. Uh, and then also they haven't expanded uh, the app to be available for Android users as well. So um, they're having a difficult time trying to make any traction among amongst any of those markets. And yes, this has not been a smooth rollout, but I predict there's going to be more fall, fallout from this. And consequently, I think that the app... Uh, may shudder at some point in time uh, if things aren't turned around very rapidly. Like I said, if you have any comments about this, please feel free to post them. I will try to read some of them and I will try to respond to some of these comments as well. Until next time, I we will uh, see what other topic we may explore. Thank you for coming. And also, if you will, I am on Patreon and I will try to post the link on there. And if not, it should be available somewhere on there. Um, Thank you for visiting. We'll see you until next time. Thank you.